Hi. Tomorrow is the birthday of hero of my life and that is me. I am at ease with my weaknesses and vulnerabilities and at rest with my power. Having a birthday brings me a welcome reminder that it is absolutely marvelous to be alive yet another year. Some people say that being excited about birthday is like quite immature but no. It's marvelous to be alive yet another year and we should celebrate that. Though parts of my body are getting weaker, facial features have now started getting surrounded by fine lines and my weakened muscles are now make, making me more fragile each passing day. I definitely do not have the physical energy that I used to have but weight against not getting older these all seem like a very small prices to pay what is aging aging is definitely better than merely existing on this planet before getting old nothing can assure me longevity it no one can be assured of this only the spirit of simply wanting to be alive is enough to keep me alive illness and death only come to those who fail at wanting life badly enough it is amazing and magnificent to be alive every day and i feel that i feel blissful and contented to have an opportunity to grow older and to age it is an absolute privilege that is worth celebrating so why shouldn't i celebrate my birthday why shouldn't i be excited about my birthday i feel my birthday is a wonderful reminder to celebrate whatever i can whatever i have and to take nothing for granted birthdays make us realize that life is an everyday miracle and we must learn to appreciate mortality and recognize that our time on the earth is finite so when the sun sets today another year of my life would be over the whole day today i kept on thinking about what my birthday actually means to me when i sit and look back at the bygone years i am able to see what my life so far has really been all about we all do we all sometimes introspect on our passing years what we have done i repeatedly try to find an answer to an ever cropping up question of how my life would have been different had i been born in a different body but i think that being in this one has enabled me to learn things and empower myself i might not otherwise have been able to do whatever i have done i know it is easier to say than to really experience it but i appreciate it every day i know i have plenty of things to be grateful for this kind of life is not a daily soap opera with dramatic episodes and climaxes having a disability is not like overcoming an obstacle or moving on it's something that must be met and dealt with each and every day yet even so i think the experiences i have had and the people i have in my life have made it possible for me to make some good progress in how i deal with it how i deal with my challenges how i deal with my body my disability is a part of me but not the sum total and focus of my life my disability has not only changed my body radically but yes it has changed my mind radically and varied situations and adversities coming up my way experiencing a life with disability has provided me with opportunities to consider my attitude towards it acceptance of an adjustment to my disability 
has become easier because of such a mindset because of my the nature that i have i have accepted myself when there is absence of meaning goals and mission in life there can be growing feelings of boredom and indifference about life positivity hope and patience have contributed to my psychological well-being making me more resilient even in stressful circumstances i won't be double minded while saying that now i possess a feeling of meaning and direction in my life i own a clear sense of personal identity and responsibility for life i own that uh, i am responsible for myself my life what i do with it i believe that destiny can be shaped where possible but where not possible we need to make something of our life even in the face of inevitable circumstances i no longer find myself as helpless i do not relinquish responsibility i own it i have always believed that if destiny cannot be influenced we can at least determine our attitude towards it and having that attitude has helped me a lot one is not responsible for fate or destiny but one is responsible for how one reacts to it we all can do that our attitude towards inescapable suffering gives meaning to life disability no doubt has put limits to my freedom but it has not eliminated it i am all free to adopt an attitude towards my disability i have always had an opportunity to realize my creative or experiential values i am one of the few blessed persons who get along i love but they wishes and greetings and i wait for them i wait and even and it's i feel so bad that i can't even thank each one individually because there are so many greetings and these greetings leave me overwhelmed each year bouquets and flowers leave my room scented for the next few hours before they wither away like the minutes and seconds of my birthday so i feel that my birthday goes away very soon our birthdays evolve as we reach different milestones of life we grow up wishing we would grow up faster until a certain age when we wish life would slow down now with the passing years of life i realize that age has consequences we should never negate that and these consequences are less apparent when our lives are settled with big questions of love relationships and work resolve but those who have unconventional lives they have different kinds of consequences after a certain point the numbers start ruling us age can tend to put the focus on what we haven't done rather than what we have but somehow i resist being defined by age i tend to focus on what next rather than what then so attitude here is important i am someone who has emerged stronger and more resilient appreciative of good things in life for having gone through the bad so there is a kind of gratitude here pains and difficulties have taught me lessons that otherwise i wouldn't have learned i am proud that i try to make a difference in this world just by being there because zindagi na milegi dobara so happy birthday aap